<laughs> well, I'm Dana Cloud. I teach in the Department of Communication Studies regularly. And the purpose of my course, uh, Communication, Controversy, and Citizenship, is uh, basically to acclimate students to talking about difficult subjects. Today is our debate on affirmative action. Have you guys done this sort of debating before? Never. No, I've never mm -hmm. done it before. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are several reasons to assign debates. One is because we stress evidence and reasoning, and a debate format is the place where you can deploy those skills of making claims, backing them up with evidence, and doing so uh, logically. And to have it in an antagonistic debate kind of format means that they have to develop some kind of empathy with the other position. I should say that the course is structured like um, a deliberative poll, which was invented by Jim Fishkin, and, and he's a government professor, and he was at UT in the 90s. And the deliberative poll is, is where you poll people about their opinions about something, and then you educate them about that something um, via expert lectures, which we have every week, and debates. How much did you guys know about the subject before and after? Nothing Not, before. Yeah, I, didn't, I had an idea of kind of what it was, but not nothing. the big words. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they get polled again to see the, exactly um, whether they um, change their minds. And I must confess that I sort of hope that they move to a more nuanced perspective. You researched more and you found out little things that kind of swayed you the other way. I thought it got more confusing after I researched more. I do think that the dialogic debate format um, forces, in a good way, the students to, to probe deeply the whole range of perspectives and to have um, kind of a radical empathy with others. Sometimes people are arguing cases that are not their own personal point of view, which I don't require, but it does give you a sense that, uh, as I say often in the class, that other people mean well. Other people are reasonable. <laughs> you know, people who don't agree with you um, can be good people. <laughs> we were pretty much just going against what we really believe, but it was cool because, you know, you, were, you got to see the other side that you never really saw before. One of my goals yeah. always as a teacher is to make the students realize, oh, if I can make this argument effectively, it will mean that I am a better citizen. It will mean that I can talk to other people better. If, um, and, and, and to actually say, you know, I really want to be able to persuade people that I'm right without um, dismissing them or demeaning them or just basically letting them go their own way. So I like that. <laughs>